Hi all, and welcome back to our Minecraft Let's Play Old World Revived, yeah. Well, you know how it goes, right? Things change, and yeah, so it does here. Sadly, things has got to change a little bit, so yeah. And so, does this big behemoth. Yep, even this big behemoth has to go. And that's, not, that's not, not the only change. Gotta say, gotta say goodbye to these two. My very first, very first mob trap, uh, uh, mob grinding traps. That's a thing in the past now. See, old friend, it's been fun. So yeah. What are we going to do with all this open space? I oh, know, it's the terrain. Damn it. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a lot of room for expansion, though. I'm thinking that uh, that path there is a pretty good indicator of uh, what, where, and which. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, let me just uh, I turn these guys off here. Because... Uh, Oh yeah, I have uh, daylight sensors now on it. Completely forgot. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I have a bit of redstone over here. Just need one piece of little redstone. There we go. Yeah, I got daylight sensors, so um, they are inverted, of course. As you see here, the daylight sensor it senses that it's uh, daytime, even though it's uh, yeah, the sun isn't out. It can still uh, can... oh shit. You can still detect that it's daylight. And I inverted it uh, instead of... Um, it needs a redstone signal to turn off. Uh, I just inverted it. So, yeah. Uh, when the daylight signal turns off, the redstone the torch turns on and turns off the... Uh, that one. And also here... Redstone daylight sensor uh, turns to night. Redstone turns, uh, torch turns on. This one turns off. And doesn't plant any more flowers. As you can see... Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, that was from uh, that big grinding behemoth there. That uh, doesn't matter. So yeah, I'm thinking that here on this side here, uh, I am going to be doing something with bees. Yeah, I am going into bees. <laughs> you might think, no, don't go into bees. But yeah, bees can actually be quite uh, useful, actually. Yeah, there's still some uh, some underground passages and stuff. But yeah, and I will uh, expand the uh, botanica over in this direction here. Maybe even uh, not, uh, not so, so close to this one. Maybe just and maybe that uh, that thing right there is a good indicator. Um, I could just uh, expand that way with the the blood magic thingy. Yeah. Oh, damn. Okay, onward to what we were supposed to build today. We were uh, talking about building this thing, the assembly halo. We apparently need a mana pearl, three pieces of mana steel, and a crafting table. That's huh. damn. These things are so freaking overpowered and easy to make. It's goddamn scary. Oh, we have another squid there. When a squid plant, when a, yeah, it's called a squid plant, as you can see, squid plant. When a new squid plant uh, uh, comes up, it uh, means that a squid has spawned. So, yeah. And I didn't get the, uh, yeah. I want to make, um, I want to make a squid spawner, like, type deal, because I need the, uh, I need the ink, as you can see, I only got 23. Uh, those are some of uh, gone out. Okay, uh, mana pearl. We need D E N D E R ender pearl. We need an ender. Oh, not an ender. an ender pearl. Only got four ender pearls. Damn. Grow, your bastards! Grow. Yes. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Let me just. Uh, I just wanna do something here. And there we go. Now I can see my beautiful face. 
And this thing is <laughs> this thing is completely full. That did not take much mana. There we go. Hmm. Okay, and we had the mana steel and just one of these. Bam. Bam. So that one, that one, and that one. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, that's cool. Okay, let's say that the. Uh, let's see, where do we have something I maybe could be able to use to build with? Hmm. Okay, um, yeah, I think we have something in here in the white. That we do. No recite, right click to set recite. Ah, okay, so if I do this. Oh, cool! Oh, that's cool. And shift uh, left click, shift left click uh, turns the recite off. Oh, that's cool. So now uh, instead of uh, carrying a uh, uh, yeah a um, workbench with you that you have to place down. You can just go in here, bam, craft, and then you have a recite. Uh, for example, uh, if you're out exploring and stuff. <laughs> and you want torches and stuff like that, you can just go in here, bam, and just turn. Torches, click. Oh, shit. Click, 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 torches. And then just turn it away. That's a cool little device. In the pouch you go. Okay, it doesn't matter, uh, we can use these uh, furnaces. Warped zombie withered away. Oh, that's probably from that up there. Well, that was actually a little bit too easy, so let's see what's next. Horn of the Wild, Horn of the Wild, we've already done. Uh, living Wood Bow. The Living Wood Bow is, uh, is, as the name described, a bow made of living wood. Strong with mana infused string. Due to its components, it uh, will last for longer than a normal bow. It'll also repair itself using mana. Similarly to mana steel tools. Hmm, cool. Let's just click on that. Yeah, that's a string in a mana pool. Yes. Yeah, that's no fun. Overgrow seed. The overgrow seed is an exclusive item which can be used to enchant a piece of grass. Via right clicking on it uh, in the world, creating enchanted soil. Flowers that are rooted on this enchanted soil will function uh, a double the normal at double the normal speed. Hmm. I wonder. Yeah. There's one problem though. No, uh, no known method of creating the uh, the. Uh, uh, these exist, but they have been spotted in ancient structures. Wow. Okay, you can't create them. Wow, okay, cool. I know that one. I actually think I do know that one. We got one right here. Oh, you stupid son of a fuck. Don't come here and think you're anything cool. 
Okay. Will function at double normal speed. We only have one. <laughs> yeah, they can run again. Hell yeah, baby! <laughs> We're gonna get flowers! Oh, ah, okay, it's a flower, there's a hopper hawk here. Took it up. Look. Yeah, why the hell not? The flower uh, that we need to uh, have the most of, right? Why not use it on the one that. <laughs> oh, this is cool. What else? Rod of the Depth. Rod of the Depth acts. Pretty much as a variant to the Rod of the Lands. It does exactly uh, the same thing, but with cobblestone for a bit of a higher price. Okay. It's cobbling time. And okay. Rod of the Lands. Rod of the Lands is a rather simple tool by utilizing mana for the uh, user's inventory, mana via a mana tablet or others. It can metabolize and place a dirt block down okay so okay they are mana or rod of the lands and rod of the depths is like having unlimited uh, amount of cobblestone or yeah uh, or um, or dirt but instead of, uh, of having actual, actual cobblestone or dirt you just use mana instead so okay Rod of the Lands and Rod of the Depths would be quite useful to have, actually. Cool. So let's see here. Um, I'm thinking that this one, Band of Mana. Yeah, actually, or maybe even this Mana Tap it right here. A man of diamond, a man of diamond and living wood would uh, that okay. That's pretty easy to make. We got the man of diamond and we got these. Let's say eight mana tablet. So what? We just ah no, I know what to do. Oh. Hmm. How to use this? Oh shit! Damn. Put a uh, put up the Waikiki page again. Grass, yeah, it doesn't do that. Okay. Mana tap it. Uh, don't put it in your pocket. It might bend. iPhone, um, iPhone, yeah, thingy. Okay, let's see here. While using mana splitters to t uh, transport mana around um, is uh, uh, it's all well and good. <clears throat> There's also a way to bring it in a different manner. A mana tablet is a portable uh, object with uh, which can carry mana itself. Tossing one of these onto a mana pool will allow the teleport of mana between one and another. Okay, that's it. Ah, you can see the mana, mana particles. Yeah, 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 you can see the mana particles. You stupid zombies. Nice. Yeah, look at that. It's much faster now. <laughs> cool. Okay, I'll put you, 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 you. I see you. Cool. Let us grab a bit of the, this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. There we go. Now I can see the real particles uh, going up around it. 
And the mana is uh, draining from the mana pool. Draining quite fast, actually. Okay, there could be a lot inside that mana table, actually. Okay, well, it seems to be have a normal mana pool. Cool. Okay. Um, that was that. We're not going to do that. Uh, uh, Rod of the Depths. We're going to do this one. Cobblestone, water, fire, and twigs. That's actually quite doable because we already have fire and water. We got one twig, just need one more. And then we need a cobblestone. Damn, these things are quite easy to make. Okay, having a mana tablet in my hot part, then I can just place that cobblestone. At a cost of a little bit of mana. Cool. These tools are heavenly good to work with. Okay, good. Okay, what's next? Uh, Rod of Lands? No. Nope. Rod of the Hells. Uh, Rod of the Hells contains an essence of a burning flame. Using it on the ground will create a circle of fire that burns anything inside it for a decent cost of mana. The ring has a decent radius and takes a small amount of time to fully uh, progr uh, progress uh, its... Uh, to no... Uh, to progress... Uh, yeah. To pro to propagate. Uh, it's uh, to note that after uh, that time it burns uh, everything living in it, the caster included. Ooh. That's also pretty goddamn easy to make. Okay, Rod of the Molten Core. Uh, Rod of the Molten Core has an ability to example heat uh, prevention from the world's core. Holding it via right-clicking and pointing at a block in the world that can be smelted into a different type of block will quickly turn it into that. For more example, cobblestone turns into stone, sand and glass and stuff like that. Yeah, that's also pretty easy to make. We got these and we got the fire thing. Huh. Rod of the Painful Mallet. Rod of the Painful Mallet has the ability to, uh, to uh, divine in a Discreetly large radius around the user to uh, find any ores uh, that will uh, uh, find any ores. These will shine for a little bit along their location. The process obviously requires a decent amount of mana for the user's inventory. And it's a pretty decent price too as well. In before E3. <laughs> I love this one. Okay, Rod of the Seas, Rod of Skies. Terra Firma. You know what? Let, let's make this Terra Blade from uh, 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 Terraria. The Terra Blade, crafted from Terra Steel ingots, is a sword uh, infused with natural strength. Not only does it uh, pair with a diamond sword in terms of strength and its use uh, in terms of strength and it uses mana for the inventory like mana steel tools, but when swung, there's a chance. Uh, for it to create a beam that will deal as much damage as a melee hit. Terrenal Angron Plate. Living Rock. Lapis Lazuli. We got some creating to do, guys! Ah. So, yeah. Mana Steel Block, of course, that's nine pieces of Mana Steel. Lapis Lazuli Block. Water, Fire, we have Air. We don't have mana, but I think we have the air. Yeah, water, fire, air. We need mana and earth. Mana. Cool. And earth rune. Cool. I'll be back with all the ingredients we need. And here we go. Bear one of these guys. 
one, two, three, four of these. Actually, I think it's five. Five of these. Four of these. And this one. Bam. Okay, um, let us do it out here. I like to I like it to be symmetrical. There, 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 and there. The lapis blocks. As you saw, there was a little uh, particle effect. That means it's working. Should we have it up here, or should I uh, take it down into the ground? You know what? Let's take it down into the ground. And we have the perfect tool for that. My awesome excavator, 3x3. Okay. Bingo. Yeah, much better. It's more cool looking when it's down on the ground like that. Uh, let me see, where do we have... Did I put the... Where did I put some torches? Ah, here we go. I want some torches. I want some torches to light up this place. F7. Oh, fucko. We need torches to light up this place. Okay, we are just about wrapping up here, guys. So let's uh, finish off this last part here quick. We need two terra steel ingots, right? And for that, we need a mana pearl and a mana steel and a mana diamond for each terra steel. So that's two pearls, two mana steel, and two diamonds. Let me just get that ready. Okay, um, we are here, and uh, yeah, let's see what happens. That, that, and that. I think it needs mana. It doesn't? Nope, apparently not. Hmm, I don't get it then. It's the right recipe, right? Mana. Yeah, creating mana steel. There is living rock under the plate, of course. It's also the under the plate that's living rock. There's five and four. So what then? Um, so we do this, this, and this. Hey, that one there. Oh, do I have this one on? No, I don't. That one there. That one there. That one there. Now what? I don't get it. After the plate is set up and ready to receive man ah Talking is single mana steel ingot, mana diamond and uh, pearl on top of the goodness fusion. Okay. So what can I toss this one down and we'll get it? No? Okay, apparently we need yeah. Hmm. I have an idea. We need one. We need actually two more mana. No, three. No, we don't need mana steel. Mana are so stupid. We need these. Five. That's just one thing. And we go. Place that here. Tell this one. 
filter one of these, whatever the matter. Cool. And now that you have done that, bam, bam, bam. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. No, sharing, sharing mana to items, it should. What the heck am I doing wrong? Uh... Uh, Terra Steel is a complex magical alloy infusing with a great amount of mana. Conjuring it provides uh, not to be a small task. For starters, to create one, uh, one uh, would require a Terra Steel account plate set on top of uh, a checkerboard pattern of lapis lazuli blocks and living wood uh, rock. Mana uh, would uh, need to be provided to this block. Uh, sparks would be the most effective way. Okay, what the heck are sparks? Sparks, sparks are uh, uh, interesting entities created from combination of raw energy and mana. They have the ability to be placed on top of a few specific mana containing or accepting blocks, mainly mana pools. Some sparks have the ability to harness mana from spark. Uh, some blocks have the ability to harness mana from sparks, but uh, the use of them uh, seems limited to a few blocks for now. Right now, placing a sparks on top of a mana pool and other on top of a block that can accept it will allow for the. Uh, okay, so I need to create sparks. That's any type of uh, mana petal. Okay, so I need six, uh, I need 12 pieces of blaze powder, four pieces of mana petal, and a gold nugget. Okie dokie. Okay. This, uh, taking off of a mana pool like that will destroy what mana it has in it, but that's okay, it was nothing. Okay. Whew. This is, uh... This is turning out to be quite a build, huh, guys? And I know, yeah, we are uh, over the wrapping up point. So, yeah, let me see. I get two per rod, right? And I have tons of rods. Okay, that one. And G-O-L. G-O-L. Gold nuggets. We need two of these. And we got two of these. Whoops. Cool. Shouldn't be that hard to make a spark, and that's just a normal workbench recipe. Bam. Oh, yeah. Darn it, I need it. I need it, I need six more. So that's two, that's three. One, two, three more of these. Oh, one, two, three. Don't know why I just didn't, didn't just do that. Start with. Okay, uh, I don't know for how many blocks they can transfer their mana essence, but I hope that it can. Okay, two sparks. One on top of that. One on top of that. And they share mana between each other. Sweet. So let's see, uh, here. Wham, wham, wham. What, nothing? Oh. Okay, that takes them down. Okay. And this is in Shanghai. It's yes with that one over there, but... Okay, I gotta figure, gotta figure this out till next time, dudes. 
Uh, yeah, I gotta figure out what the hell is going on here. Tarot Steel Blade. Mana Pearl. Mana Steel Ingots. Mana Diamond Pearl. Mana Steel Ingots. On top of that, yeah. Okay. Oh, God damn it. Well, uh, thank you all so very much for watching. And I'm gonna figure out what the hell I need to do with this one. Uh, yeah. And as always, catch you on the flip side. Just for your viewing pleasure, guys, I got it to work. It needed a full half uh, mana pool in order just to make one Terra Steel ingot. And there you have it.